Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, if you will, take your Bible and turn with me to Psalm number 128. And let's look at verse number 3, or verse number 1 through verse number 4. Notice what the Bible says here. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands, happy thou shalt be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants around and about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. Today, friends, I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, A Firm Foundation. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. You know, the question has often been asked, why do bad things happen to good people? Have you ever asked that question? Another question is this. Why do godly parents sometimes have ungodly children? When parents do their best to fear the Lord and raise their children with the admonition and nurture in the Lord and children still go astray, it can be a heartbreaking experience. Now, the Bible doesn't promise that godly parents will never have ungodly children any more than it promises that a godly Christian will never sin. Beloved, the Old Testament covenant promised the Israelites that the starting place for success in life begins with fearing the Lord. We should never think that not fearing the Lord is the path to blessings. If we want to create a godly family, we should begin by fearing the Lord, lest we labor in vain. This is the only direction the Bible offers. Even when things don't go as prayed for, friends, listen, never waver from your lifelong commitment to honor the Lord. Your firm foundation is truly the fear of the Lord. Think about this. And now let's pray together. Lord, help us reverence you. To have a godly fear for you. It'll be the beginning of wisdom for us. 
And we ask that you'll help us do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray the devotion blessed you today. And if it did, you bless someone else by sharing it with them. Remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. And I pray you have a wonderful and a blessed day.